Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit existing texture packs for Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition. Now I'm going to be starting off with Minecraft Java Edition and then moving on to Minecraft Bedrock. And you should be able to check the timeline of this video, you know in the bottom, um, the thing that pops up whenever you pause the video. You should be able to check that to see um, to see when the explanation for Minecraft Bedrock Edition starts if that's what you're after. Anyways, a few things a few things I want to say before we get in um, is that I actually make a bunch of texture packs myself. You can check those out. They're all free download. Um, they're on CurseForge and Planet Minecraft. I'll link those two websites in the description. Um, something else is that I also have a bunch of different tutorials on how to make custom texture packs um, as well as a bunch of tutorials on how to fix different things like importing issues um, and if those are one of the issues you're experiencing and you happen to click on this video then they will be linked in the description so you can find a more dedicated um, video explaining how to fix your more specific issue and otherwise you can of course ask in the comments anyways we're starting off with Java edition so we can just move the bedrock pack to the side right over there so to edit your existing minecraft java texture pack yeah you basically want to Gonna want to undo some steps that you've done before to get this imported. First of which is um, you see the um, dot zip over the end there. That's what we want to remove. If you don't see it, it's fine. I shouldn't have said that. That's confusing. Anyways, you want to right click on this and then you want to select the extract all option. Then once this box pop pops up, you want to click on extract once again. And then um, as you can see, we now have a folder of this. Um, now. Depending on your OS and the device you're using, you may not actually have this extract all option. Now, um, you will then, in that case, you'll need to use a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR um, to help you with this. Um, and, you know, uh, to, to actually make this pack in the first place, you had to zip it up, probably. Um, and if that's the case, then just, you know, kind of try and remember how you did that and then just undo whatever you did because we basically undid t um, turning this into a zip file and now we have a regular folder we can enter the regular folder and because this is now a regular folder we can edit everything inside here um, so you can edit your pack icon or add one if you have one or don't have one yet it's optional um, and your pack MC meta you can um, change your pack version. Um, I've got a whole other video dedicated on how to update your texture packs from for example Minecraft 1.18 to 1.19. If you want to check that out it's going to be linked in the description. You can change the description of your pack as well. Uh, you can save this, you know, whatever once you're done editing it. You don't need to edit it. And then of course in the assets over here you can take a look at all the things inside your texture pack. For me that's this occasion trapdoor. You can then edit it, for example, by adding a dot over here. I don't like that dot, so I'm just not going to do it. Let's say I'm done editing. Yep, save everything. Uh, then you can just go out. Yeah, back to the start over here. Okay, so let's say I've finished editing everything. I'm happy with my pack. It's improved a lot, and I want to see how it looks inside of Minecraft. Well, you basically want to do the same thing as you did when you were making your pack in the first place. So what you want to do is press Control A to select all of these or you can select all of them just like this. Um, then you want to right click on these and then click on compress to zip file. Now once again if you don't have an option like this they'll need to use a program like 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the files. Like 7-zip or WinRAR to um, archive these, compress these to a zip file, um, you can call it a bunch of different things. I can just click on this button and then we've got my pack.zip. I don't want it to be called pack.zip though. The pack was originally called SVC4's super cool pack, so I'll change it back to that, SVC4's super um, cool pack. There we go. And now I've edited this. It's no longer just SVC4's super cool pack. It's V2, version 2. Simple enough, right? So that's just going to be helping me to differentiate between these. We can drag this out of here, and then we can... We don't really need the folder anymore. 
you can just throw it into the recycling bin if you want to you can keep it as well if you want here we have the new one and this is the old pack you can throw away the old pack too um, although you might just want to keep it um, as an older version of the pack, maybe something to come back to, anything like that. Of course, you obviously don't have to throw it away, but I don't really need it anymore. Anyways, um, of course, this is all repeatable. You can um, now extract all these and edit it again after you've tested it and imported it into Minecraft. Anyways, um, I'm just going to walk through the part of importing this into Minecraft for you guys as well. I've launched the version of Minecraft that my texture pack is for. You can launch any version, just you know, whatever version you made your pack for. Um, and then we can just quickly import it. I'll show you guys right over here. So you can open up the resource packs area, yeah. And then you can open up the pack folder. And you can basically just drag it in. One thing you want to watch out for though is, um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of other packs in here. And if I hover this above these packs, it says copy. Yeah, um, and what that would do is it would copy this pack into, like inside of one of these packs I already have in here. Now it wouldn't cause these packs to break, but it would cause that this pack wouldn't be visible over here. So it's very important that when you drag it in, um, you see move to resource packs or something like that. Yeah, um, and then I can just put it in here. Um, I already have one. I could just, you know, replace it. Yeah, so anyways, basically it's in here now. That's what you want to do. Um, and then you can close your pack folder. There you are. Anyways, now scrolling down, we can take a look. There it is. It's M64's super cool pack version 2. There we go. It's so useful I called it version 2. Now I know that it's actually version 2. Cool, right? Um, you can just click on the arrow, and that's going to activate this. Um, one thing, you if you still have an old version of this pack, um, you know, activated or something like that, I recommend that you... Um, deactivate the old version to stop it from overriding this pack or something like that. But you know this is fine. Um, it's 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 in here and it should be available now. If your pack doesn't show up in here, but you did drag it into the resource packs folder correctly, believe it or not, that's actually a very very common issue. Um, and so I have a dedicated video to that as well. It's it's really common. You will not believe how easy it is to make mistakes. So you can go ahead and check out that video. And after that entire video, I also even have some more resources to help you out. So it's basically a guarantee that your pack will work. Anyways, my pack worked first try, which is nice. So I can just click on done. There we are. Then done again. And now, you know, you can just load up any world that you want, look at your texture pack, test it out, and then potentially edit it again and improve it even more. So now moving on to how to do this for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Yeah, so here it is, ISM64's Bedrock Edition texture pack. We're going to edit this pack and then re-import it into Minecraft. Yeah, so you want to right click on this and then you actually want to rename it first off. That's step number one. Um, actually, that is like that. That is step number one. We have a step and a half too though. Uh, so you, you see this .mc pack here? Yeah, that's what you want to see. If you don't see this, then you want to go into File Explorer, then over to View, Show, and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. Yeah, depending on your OS or the device you're using, these words might not be exactly the same, But so it might not be view, it might be a slightly different word, something like that, it might be under a slightly different um, menu, but either way, you need to make sure that file name extensions is ticked. This way, you can see the .mc pack at the end of your texture pack. Yeah, we can rename this, I mean, what we actually want to do is you want to remove the .mc pack from the end. Yeah, we want to remove that. And you actually want to replace it with a dot zip. There we go. And then a prompt will come up that if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. In this case, it'll still be usable and we can just click 
on yes. Yeah, and now you might remember this step, but then the other way around from when you were making this texture pack, because we're basically reversing a few steps that we did when making this um, to be able to edit it again. Yeah. So now we have it as a zip file, and that's still not good enough. We need to do something else to be able to edit this. You want to right click on this once again, and then select the extract all option. Yeah, and then this box should pop up, and then you just want to press on extract again. Yeah, now, um, depending on your OS or the device you're using, you might not actually have extract all as an option. In that case, you want to use a, pro a, a program called 7-zip and or WinRAR um, to allow you to do this. And now, when making this pack, you should have also found a way, probably, to compress this into a zip file. Yeah, um, and and so and and so you should already, in theory, be able to do this. Um, so you just need to make sure that you do the same thing you did earlier. However, now we're doing it in reverse. Cause just put this to the side. Because now, as you can see, we have a folder, and this folder is just a regular file folder, and it's our texture pack. So we can just go in here. You can see your look at look at your icon if you have one. It's optional. Um, you can see your manifest over here and your textures. So um, this pack I made for a small tutorial. You know, not too complicated. Oh my God! It's a red acacia trapdoor. You can edit it in whatever way you want. Um, you know, save anything. You can add blocks, remove blocks. Basically you know change anything edit it in any ways you want um you can also edit the manifest file slightly you can change stuff like the name or the description um anyways our version we're gonna make this version 2.0.0 as you can see it's already like that but that's fine um yeah so version 2.0.0 because you know it's gonna be version number two of this pack yeah pretty pretty cool you can change this over here so I can change it to for example 3.0.1 if I want to yeah that's fine you can change it to whatever version you want anyways I'm just gonna have it at version 2.0.0 yeah once you've changed edited done everything you want with this you can um you need a head uh, you, you need to head to the folder which if you click on it you see all these yeah and now that might be a bit complicated if you hear it for the first time so i'll just say it again um so you want to locate the folder yeah and this folder if you want to if you click on this folder you see these three items yeah if you found that folder then you found the correct folder yay basically basically what you want to do is you want to right click on this and then compress to zip file yeah so this is going to be the process of re-importing that into minecraft compress to zip file which is basically the opposite of what we did two minutes ago which was extracting it all and decompressing it um right so resource pack dot zip no, look, it was ism64's bedrock texture pack. You can give it a name. I'm going to give it the same name as before. So ism64's bedrock texture pack. There we are. Um, And now this isn't just ism64's bedrock texture pack. It's ism64's bedrock texture pack v2.0.0. And, of course, you can call it anything. You don't need to put the version behind it. I kind of like it, though, because that way I can differentiate this one between potential other versions of my texture pack. Yeah. So, you know, you can just drag this out. You can delete the folder. You don't really need it anymore. Um, if you want to edit this texture pack again, then you can just do the same thing we've, I've literally just done. Anyways, you'll remember that um, this, that, that compressing it into a zip file wasn't actually the first step before. It was the second one. So we still have one more step to go, and that is reversing, once again, our first step, the first thing we did. Do you remember what that was? Yep, we replaced .mcpack with .zip. So now we want to do the exact same thing. You want to go over to Rename, and then you want to remove the .zip from the end. And what you want to replace that with is .mcpack, just like we had before. That is .mcpack. P-A-C-K. Yeah, 
Then, once again, that small prompt's gonna come up anyways. We know that our file will still be usable, yeah? And then, you can just double click on this and launch it into Minecraft, yeah? And you should be good to go after you've activated it. However, I'm gonna show you something that might happen um, and has a pretty big probability to happen once you import it. If you wait for a second, as you can see, import started, and then it's gonna say import failed, if we wait in a second, there you go, fail to import, duplicate pack detected. Oh no, I've had this pack before. Even though this is a new version of this pack, Minecraft still thinks it's the same pack. So that's an issue. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. So to fix it, you wanna go into settings, Scroll all the way down until you see storage. Then under storage, you want to go over to resource packs because that's what these are. Then take a look. Oh my god, it's isme 64s Bedrock Example Pack, I think the name is. That's the pack I just imported. You want to delete that just like this. It's going to be deleted permanently. No big deal. Now that it has been deleted, so the old version of this pack has been deleted, yeah. Now, you just exit Minecraft again, double click on that to re-import it. And now, once the old version of this pack has been removed, um, if you wait a second for Minecraft to load, there we go, import has started, and there we go, it's successfully imported, ism 64s Bedrock Example Pack. Beautiful, that's what we just made. Now just to activate it, you can head into settings, global resources, my packs, and then just activate it like that. As you can see, it's now under the active tab. Yeah, now you can just, you know, click on play, head into any world you want, check it out, test it, and maybe then go back, edit it, and improve it even more if you want to. Anyways, if you have any questions whatsoever, you know, because this it's texture pack, so it can be complicated at times. If you have any questions whatsoever or anything like that, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. However, for right now, um, thank you guys ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.